All right, guys, second attempt after the first attempt, I didn't record my microphone. So, hello everyone, welcome back to another video from me, Beast is my name. And today in that video, I want to talk about a specific topic which I find currently really dangerous and I think um, not many people talking about it or way too less people talking about that. And that is specific, the cheating aspect of doing it while the events are running with refunding, for example. Um, as you maybe have um, saw the other video about Angry Jack and um, that I called him a cheater, well, basically he have a video recorded his screen and showed me basically his last purchases and uh, where I could clearly see that he didn't um, did it on purpose or like I don't know what happened that this refund actually happened. What I can tell you is that the refunding aspect was like he said in this comment between 500 and 600 bucks and that it was really weird only 20 10 and 5 and 3 ones it was nothing above 50 bucks got refunded so that is really weird i don't know what really happened uh, and i don't know if he have used like credit card or like his actual bank um uh like bank card um Howsoever is the case that he or like the system refunded 20 bucks, 10 bucks, 5 bucks and 3 bucks and that's it, nothing above it. So uh, with that and that he basically didn't like spend thousands of dollars to over push as lot, um, I officially want to apologize here and um, to everyone and speci uh, specifically towards Angry Jack uh and i want to apologize for the misinformation and for the mistake i did basically and yeah with that said guys we're gonna jump into the actual video so what do i mean with that when i say like cheating events and refunding but so basically what people can currently do is they can refund their, their stuff which they have bought, but they're not losing the points in TSL, for example, which I find pretty hilarious and kind of confusing at the same time. And I'm like, why? Why is that possible? Because that whole thing just came up with a point of Angry Jack got stuff refunded while he was pushing or after he had pushed in TSL. That's how the whole thing came up, you know? That's how I have messaged VIP support and I was like, yo, this guy refunded, um, can he, like, uh, what about the rank? Like, you know? At the end, like I said in the beginning, he didn't did it on purpose or, like, he didn't spend uh, so much and then refunded that he could overpush as lot. So, basically, that proves that he didn't cheat it, but other people could do it. You know, other people could snipe away ranks by doing that and I'm like, Guys, you need to do something. You, this cannot be the case that people, okay, they're losing the items they have both, but I mean, um, someone, let's say someone having a life crisis, right? Um, and he can't currently continue his spending. Let's say he's a mid spender and he uh, losing because he can't spend right now um, more. He can't, I don't know, you know, he can push more. Let's say someone is now abusing the system because currently you can still push while you um while you're refunding after the push the items or like the, the stuff you have bought. And you're not losing the TSA points. Why? Why is that possible? Like it shouldn't be even the case that you think about and it is possible that you can do it. It shouldn't be possible in my opinion. Like when there need to be some kind of punishment if you do that. Either way you say, okay, if you refund, your account is getting banned completely and you need to restart or using another account to continue playing. Or you say like, okay, you pushed, when you refund, so you're gonna lose now the, uh, the points in the, for example, if that is happening in the TSA event, you're gonna lose now your points in the TSA event, which you have, pushed with the stuff you have refunded for or like some other kind of punishment you know it shouldn't be the case where people could do that abuse the system by that 
getting into a negative and basically could unlock their account again when they're gonna rebuy the stuff. That shouldn't be the case at all, you know? So I think we need to admit that and pointing that more out to the developers that they are like, okay, this is something which we maybe should look on uh, since people can abuse that. And I mean, the, the devs also losing money by that, right? Like if, if someone is refunding, I mean, they're paying also taxes and all that stuff, right? So they're basically losing money with that as well, you know? And I mean, at the end, a company wanna make money, right? So I think it's a win-win here if they looking it pretty fast on it because if this way they pretending to not losing more money and the other way is they keeping the, the players on their side because they are like, yeah, we're having a repunishment system towards this kind of acting, you know? So people are not getting pissed because they lost a, a specific spot. So yeah, that's my current concern. And like I said, I have also uh, typed it out to the VIP support. So I hope you are on the same opinion on that. And um, yeah, overall, let me know in the comments what you think about this current topic. Maybe you have some other punishments in your mind which you want to uh, point out in the comments. Uh, maybe you have a different opinion which you want to point about, point out. But I would, I would like, why do you have a different opinion? Like, do you want that someone snipe away your spot in the TSA or in any other event by abusing the system? I don't think so, right? I don't think someone would like to lose like thousands of worth of items uh, in game. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Otherwise, guys, thanks for listening. I wish you a great rest of the day or a great start info in. I can talk today or a great start into the next day. Stay healthy, everyone, and we're going to see us soon on the next one.